This is probably the funniest Star Wars movie ever. I would love yeah. to know what your funniest memory from making the film is. I guess there was always moments where me and Oscar were um, talking about absolute nonsense when we were supposed to be <laughs> serious and concerned. Uh, the Crystal Critters is something that we couldn't get over. Biohexacrypt is a word that I had to say. It felt like Ryan was writing lines to uh, create obstacles for my vocabulary. When you're filming with the Crystal Critters, what are you actually seeing there? A Crystal Critter. Like, literally, they built they built like a, a whole one and they moving it and it had mouth moving and everything. It's like a real fox. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's yeah. That's amazing. It's actually, actually there. I and mean, when you pet it, you have to pet it. You don't actually touch it. You kind of like pet around its silhouette because they're spiky. So it's... Uh, <laughs> It's wow, cute. I wonder what happened to that? I know, I don't, I don't know. Who's got that home? <laughs> Ryan Johnson probably has that home. Because <laughs> he has a porg too, so he's he probably collecting all these different creatures. Oh. Yeah. That's like everyone's dream to have their own porg, I think. No, that's not my dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my dream. Everyone else is yes. Everyone thinks they're really cute. I disagree. Why? Because they're not cute. <laughs> they're just not, they're rodents. They're like literally space rodents. Would you eat one? I probably would. <laughs> I probably would, medium rare. <laughs> There's a bit in it that I won't describe, but um, I'm in a scene with someone and there is some water. And uh, we had to recreate that in a place where the water wasn't. So there had to be a pane of glass with like with rain falling on it. And you know, it's like an expensive film. There's a lot of money, a lot of visual effects, a lot of creatures. And we're doing a very intense scene and we hear tss, tss, and I was like, what in God's name is that? And there was someone literally like this, sorry with a bottle of water they were spraying on a pane of glass. I was like, guys, let's, let's hook this up. And how were you with bloopers? Were there any moments that you couldn't help but laugh in? There were quite a few, actually, and it didn't feel fair because, you know, when you're working with people, you don't want to be that person that's, like, disrupting. Um, but as relationships grow, uh, so does humour, and so does sort of taking the piss out of each other. So there were a lot, which I'm actually very excited to see because they've made a documentary of the making of, and I am excited to see it because there was a lot of, a lot of uh, laughter, yeah. I said to Ryan, he was directing me, and I said, uh, when are you gonna wear the armor, Ryan? And he said, I know, one day I should direct you wearing the armor. And I said, when is that going to be, Ryan? And, and I kept on with it, and then one day he said, look, Gwendolyn, I can't wear the armor because just the legs would come up to my neck. So he never tried it on? Not publicly, but I don't know what he did in private. And how were you with bloopers? Were there any moments where you couldn't help but laugh? Sometimes when things go wrong or I do things that are wrong, I swear quite badly. And it's not ideal. Um, and often it makes the crew laugh because um, it's a, a terrifying crudeness that ricochets out of me and people are often um, quite taken aback by the violence in my language. What an amazing thing to see coming out of Captain Phasma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not ideal. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, you know, nobody was funnier to me than Carrie Fisher. And I would hang out in her trailer. I, I lo she loved the fact that I could make her laugh too. So it was sort of a, like a, a, a contest between who could be more outrageous and funny. And uh, she usually won, but I could make her laugh. Uh, what's surprising to me are people that are funny unexpectedly. Adam Driver has a real great sense of humor that of course you can't see in the film. Uh, I was thrilled. I w saw the call to you one day and said, Adrian Edmondson. Is that the Adrian Edmondson from Bottom and the Young Ones? Like there's 50. <laughs> and I said, they said, yeah, he's on set today. I was like, I was a fanboy. I like playing ping pong a lot. We had a ping pong table on uh, on set, so everybody would, would would get on there. Ron Bergman was definitely the the strongest ping pong player. He's the oh, producer. Oh, is he? Oh yeah. I didn't nasty, know that. Nasty, nasty pong player. How are your ping pong skills? Pretty darn good. <laughs> I beat Adam he a lot. He beat Kylo Ren all really? the time. How? Every single Every time. Every single time. How did he? No take matter that? what he says, he didn't like it. <laughs> he didn't like it. He threw a tantrum. I know that Carrie had to slap me 25 times. Uh, that's how many takes we did of her slapping me. And so I think they've compiled <laughs> those together. <gasps> Have they really? Yeah, Ryan told me that he put it all together. <laughs> oh, so we'll be seeing amazing. that one of these days where you see every time she's It was my first day on set. I remember seeing a table tennis match between Oscar Isaac uh, and John Boyega. And that was pretty cool. 
and then Adam Driver stepped up and he took it very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that was pretty great. And everyone was in costume. That was a good, that was a good day. That must be an insane thing to say. Who won? I'm not at liberty to divulge that kind of information. Um, I remember seeing some of the Praetorian guards who couldn't really see where they were going terribly easily, um, uh, sort of bumping into each other. And, and I found that hilarious. <laughs> They're in the red. They look very serious and threatening, but when they can't see where they're going and they kind of bump into each other, kind of slightly takes away the uh, threat. I don't know if you know this, but John is amazing at doing an American accent. And that's like, for to, do, to say the words that we have to say and also be thinking about the accent is insane. Like he's incredible. And there's this one word in the movie that he was having the hardest time saying. And so after a while, we all just were like, the word is biohexacrypt which is a hard word to say without thinking about your accent. Um, but yeah, that turned out to be a joke between uh, Ryan and, and John, and I think Ryan actually got him like a poster that says that word. 